Hey, this is Ben from AtomicEmporium.com. Today I'm going to talk about uh, uranium and its uses and how it's found. So these are my different uranium items. This is actually a lead case. So um, uranium metal, when it's pure, it looks like this. I have a tiny little piece of it in there. This is dark because it's oxidized with U308 oxide. But uh, it's heavy. You can actually feel that it's heavy, even in such a small piece. And radioactively, through the glass and everything, but it's still pretty hot. So it knocks off the uh, one scale on this thing. I imagine it could go up to maybe a few thousand. There, it's up to right about 100,000, or no, not 100,000, just 10, 1,000 clicks per minute. So that's pure uranium, relatively pure anyway. And uh, to get pure uranium, you use uranium ores, which is what I have in here. This is a uh, gummite uranium ore, kind of a rare sample. came from uh, New Hampshire. It's a very nice orange color, similar to my Fiesta Ware sample. And this little rock is the most radioactive thing I have. It's insanely hot. I don't know if you can hear that. But it's just screaming. Knocks it off the 10 scale. Try the 100 scale. Listen to that, man. So that's going up to right about 20,000 counts per minute or so. So that's a pretty hot little rock there. That's why I keep it in this lead case that I custom made out of lead sheet. And uranium was used in, uh, you could mix it, this is about 2% of a different uranium oxide, into clear glass, and you get this great green color, which uh, lights up under a black light, coincidentally. Now, since this is only 2%, it's not very radioactive. I'll test it for you, but it's hardly even noticeable. That's pretty low. It's maybe 100 clicks per minute at best. So, that's not much uranium, but it's a pretty color uranium. And then one of the other most uh, famous uses is this orange glaze, which is UO3 oxide. I have another video on both the orange glazes and the green, by the way. You should go check them out. So this orange glaze is much more uranium in it. It's like pure uranium, and it is pretty darn hot. Set it to 10 scale. And it almost maxes out the 10 scale. So that's maybe about 3,000 to 2,500 counts per minute. So that's pretty hot too. Now these are pretty much not made anymore because of the radioactivity. These are unusual, and I don't think anybody makes them anymore. The rock, um, every once in a while you can find a piece of it just in nature. You can just walk around with a Geiger counter, and every once in a while you'll find a little piece. I didn't find this piece. I bought it from a mine. But uh, every once in a while, I found some lightly radioactive pieces. And the pure uranium is really hard to come by. This is depleted uranium, meaning it's the isotope 238. And um, even though there's a lot of it around because governments use it, they take the normal, they take the enriched uranium out of it, so they have this left over. But then they just keep it. They won't give it to anybody because it's not useful for much at all. So I'm pretty lucky to have that. And these are both flea market items. This one came from a mine. That's my uranium collection. Thanks. Go check out AtomicEmporium.com for more.